Okay. Hey everybody, Snooplax here, and today we're going to be playing some Mario Party 64 by Mr. Comet. So this is a hack that puts in a bunch of boards and minigames from Mario Party into Super Mario 64. Let's see what Toad has to say here. Oh Mario, we're so glad you're here. Bowser placed a curse on all the lands. We need you to harness the power of the stars to lift the curse, defeat Bowser, and become the superstar. This is based on the original Mario Party 1, and this area here is pretty much the hub world, which is pretty cool seeing it in Super Mario 64. So we have many options here. I'm gonna go to the option house here. I'm just curious what it's gonna be. Or no, this is the game house. It's so cool that they recreated this in the music and everything. That's oh, it's awesome. Yeah, they don't have the parrot here. Alright, we got some money. I wonder if we can talk to this toad. Buy, play, explain tokens. Yeah, let's explain tokens. Tokens are hidden across the world. There are two in each level. You can collect these tokens and exchange them for many games. Oh, that's sick. Um, explain the red vase. This red vase over here will open once you've defeated this area's boss. Then it'll take you to a harder version of the boss, and you'll be rewarded with the star for completing it. I ought to say, like... Mario Party 1 was one of my favorite games growing up, and to have Mario Party 1 combined with Super Mario 64, such a cool concept. So do we want to go on our journey first? Go into the pipe where everything begins? Oh, we need five stars to enter the pipe. Alright, so I guess our journey is going to begin looking up into the light here. Mario's Rainbow Castle. Alright, the first course, or the first board in Mario Party. Oh, it's so cool hearing this Mario Party music and the Mario 64 sound aesthetic. Aww. Such a cool concept to make Mario Party boards into Super Mario 64 levels. Like, I like how uh, when Mario's behind an object, he turns like black like this. That's obviously like pretty cool custom coding, and it really helps to know where Mario's positioning is. I like how there's three total stars, coins, and uh, these token things. I think tokens are probably really important for collecting mini games, and it seems like the bank's gonna keep track of it too. It looks like there's a star trapped inside the top of the tower. I wonder if there's any way to get it. I'm sure there is. And I guess just the fact that you collect stars in Mario 64 and you collect stars in Mario Party 2, that obviously works out really well. Oh. oh, so this is, uh, like, almost like a plane of glass or something. I wonder if there's gonna be a hundred coin stars in this hack. Looks like this is probably going to be our first star here. Oh, nice, first star of the game. That was actually very bit challenging though, that was a pretty tight timer. Oh sweet, we have the uh, exit jingle from Mario Party 2. Oh whatever. I think I'm going to try a leap of fate. That's cool, like a custom coin block. There's gotta be a hundred coin stars. I just have a feeling. Oh sweet, we can take this lift up. Oh, and a star already. This must be star one, I'm thinking. Right, riding on a cloud. Very cool to have like varying paths, but we got a good old Mario Party pipe. Let's see what this bomb has to say. If you go down this pipe, you'll get taken to a mini game. Make sure you finish up whatever you were doing before going down. Okay. Let's start out this mini game. I wonder what it's gonna be. Oh, yes, Platform Peril. Heck yeah, it's one of my favorites. Man, I had to screw around with this game for hours when I was trying to soft lock it. 
This seems very cool too. Alright, sweet, let's see. He has to say. I hear if you finish the race in under 16 seconds, you can get a power star. I can't actually confirm this though, so you'll have to try it for yourself. Sounds tough though, so good luck. Alright, let's do this. Alright, sweet, that wasn't too tough. Such a faithful recreation of this mini game. Oh, so there is a wing cap. Blue coin switch over there. Yeah, there must be 100 coins, Star. Uh, okay. okay, no, get up. No. Oh, it's not too bad. Actually, it is too bad because I'm back at the bottom now. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. It's a very cool texture of Mario. And you can tell that it's split between four, so this is like probably really high res. Um. Oh, this is cool. There's some raising platform here. I wonder if Bowser's on the other side. Oh, there's a hidden uh, coin though, or a token. It's a good thing that I checked. I wonder if 100%ing this is going to be tough to get all, like, the tokens? Rings in the sky. Okay, I'm going to need the wing cap for that. Um, I'll probably come back to this level once I have a wing cap. But I have a feeling that you get wing cap from this level, that just makes perfect sense, you know? Just from a game design perspective, this is the logical level to get wing cap from. Oh, wait. Did not know about that shortcut. Okay, that's it for those. Oh, 80 coin stars. Okay, perfect. That's awesome. Makes it a little bit easier. I always like when they change 100 coin stars to be like a... Oh, I should have read that text. Well, whatever. Too late now. Okay, is this going to be wing cap here? Oh, this is a hidden elevator. So that's how you're initially supposed to get to it. And I'll collect my a star just to save my coin total, because that's Pretty good coin total there. Have to come back later. But at least you have access to the next level, so we're like not stuck by any means.
Okay, we got this game. I forget what it's called, but... I've always was really bad at this minigame as a kid, but... It's pretty cool playing with, like, long jumps and stuff. Oh, no. Uh... Alright, we did it. Oh, we got a key. Already. Hey, what's this key gun unlock? Petering Tower's cleared? Oh, so this is the, uh... Oh, the minigame tunnel! Oh, so we have the shop. I wonder what you can buy in here. Oh, this is just another options house. I think it's gonna be identical. Okay. That's cool to have, like, another way to enter the options house, you know? So let's go to the first door here. I have a feeling it's gonna be uh, Luigi's engine room, but we'll see. Alright, so we, we got Yoshi's Tropical Island. Got the fruit here in the background. This one's gonna be a lot of fun to play. I'm already really looking forward to this one. Treasure of the Sunken Ship. Oh, such a cool rendition of this song. This is awesome. Oh, we got Koopa at the start. He'll probably just give us the lowdown. Hey, Mario. Don't let anyone here know that I told you, but I think that zero right behind you is actually a warp pipe. I haven't yet tested it out myself, but I think it leads to a special mini game. Oh, yeah, it is. Yoshi. That's cool. Let's see what mini game. Dive into the sea and bring the five treasure chests onto the ship. Tip hold A button while underwater to swim faster. Alright. No, shoot, no. Oh, come on, and let's go grab onto it. Yeah, definitely better than the first one. Hey, cool, that was a really, really cool star. Honestly, wasn't expecting that minigame to be one of the ones that were featured in this game, but that was honestly a really good pick, and really well done how he did it, and very cool new swimming mechanic, too. Oh, I should see if I can get a soft lock. Can I get a <laughs> Can he soft lock? Wait, I'm trying to fix you for it. What's this star called? Treasure of the Sunken Ship, okay. Yeah, it looks like this is gonna be a sub area here. Oh, this mini game. Oh, Mario, it's terrible. We shipwrecked and now the captain can't escape. Please help us. Oh, these aren't even falling over. I 100% thought that they were.
Okay. <laughs> See what this Koopa has to say. Mario, have you really come to save me? Thank you so much to show my gratitude. Please take our treasure. It's that power star over to your left. Alright, sweet. It's a bit of a challenge. That was a fun one. The big apple. Oh, we have Yoshi in the center here. Let's see what Yoshi has to say. Mario, please help me. I'm starving, but I can't get off this island. I would ask you to get one of those coconuts I've been hearing about, but I have no idea how you could even get them to me. Maybe some star power could help us out. I like how they have the Womps, because usually in uh, this map, the Womps would be blocking these two paths. Really don't know what that does. Oh! That put all that fruit there? That's pretty cool. I've never seen a Switch, like, spawn custom geometry like that before. Sweet. That was a very cool start. I didn't know you could press switches and make custom objects appear like that. Red coins of Cantaloupe Island. If we're doing reds, we should probably do hundreds too. That just makes sense. A wise man once told me when you do red coins, you also do hundreds. Or what's over here? Got like Star Island. All these reds are pretty close together, and they're only on this section, so... You only have to collect seven reds. That's nice. That's honestly so nice. You only have to collect seven of the eight. That's gonna make this hack so much easier. Somebody finally came and was like, you know what? Seven reds is all you need. Which is nice, like honestly. Trouble in the star shape island, alright. I know what to do for this one. We'll long jump over on these watermelons here. I do not even know where this boss is. Oh, it's the tree! What? That's sick! I think you'd whop it to a tree, I didn't even notice that. That is so cool! What a cool idea, like... That is... That is so cool. The 
Hungry Yoshi. We need to bring Yoshi coconuts? I think that's what we gotta do. Mario, I think the power of stars has created a bridge. Do you think you could get me one of those coconuts I've been hearing about now? Okay, so getting the coconuts across here is going to be kind of difficult because I'm going to have to jump on all these melons. Cool. Last start of the level. This one's 100% done. Next stage here. Looks like we got oh Peach's uh birthday cake level. I like how we shrink at the start, that's a very cool idea, because yeah, you're obviously really small on this level. Very good rendition of this theme too. They'll probably be uh, in all these spots, so it shouldn't be too tough. Can probably go for hundreds here too, because all these guys are going to give me a blue coin, so... Oh yeah, let's see what this Goomba has to say. One of my friends told me there's a hidden path at the bottom of the cake. I don't remember where he said it is, though. Actually, let's see what's on this straw. This is usually the Bowser area over here. Hopefully... Okay, star switch. Oh! I wasn't expecting that. I think this level should be pretty quick, because, like, I'll have the 100 coins done with. Perfect. Yeah, there's probably only, like, one more piranha plant left. It's such a good recreation of this map, though, especially because, like, these maps were just images, so, like, they had to recreate these from scratch. Unlike in other Mario Parties where they actually use 3D models, Mario Party 1, 2, and 3 just used images for all the, uh, boards. I wonder if he'd ever consider doing, like, Mario Party 2 and 3. Like, obviously this hack probably took him hundreds and hundreds of hours to make, so... But it'd be cool to see Mario Party 2 and 3 done in the future for sure. Oh wait, here's where he's gonna be, or here's where the plant's gonna be. For some reason, I pressed I pressed the shield button, thinking that this was gonna be like Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, let's get these blues, cause might as well. Just curious where they're gonna spawn. These this axe has been very generous for coins, like especially with the hundred coin star uh, only requiring what you would call it. Uh, or the red coins are only requiring seven of the eight red coins. Like, that is super generous. I think that's it. Yeah. That's all of them. Cool. So, star one. The la next five stars, I think I'm gonna get each one probably, like, within a minute here, I'm thinking. This one's called Fudge Sunday Star Pieces. Okay. I'm gonna see what's over here, because 
Oh wow, these actually go around. That is cool. Very cool star idea there, having like uh, a T set off in the background. Let's see where these star pieces are. Okay, <laughs> that was probably one of the last frames I could have got it. Sweet. I thought I honestly thought that that would take me more tries. The bowl of sweets. Oh, yeah, this is a secret cake thing they were talking about. Oh, sweet, just right here. Alright, lighting candles. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's totally different. I don't think this was here before, unless I just somehow missed it. Well, this game, heck yeah. This is all, was one of my favorite mini games too. Me and my friends would play this game on like repeat. I don't know, I don't know how high I gotta get to win this, but we'll see. That was a very cool mini game. Very cool uh, recreation of that. I know Kay's did a recreation of that mini game too in uh, Super Mario Last Impact, but he used Hexagon Heat instead of uh, that one, which was the recreation of that mini game in Mario Party 2. All right, lighting the candles. Still gotta do that. All right, so here are the candles. We just gotta light them up. That's what the sign says. The candles will light when this when smoke is created. Okay, like smoke when Mario runs. Okay, so when I buy the candles, like oh, I see. I just gotta run around them, I think. All right, sweet. That is a very cool star, also. That's it for that level. Alright, I wonder what the next level is gonna be. I'm gonna guess Luigi's engine room. But it could be the Wario level also. Or DK's Jungle Parkway. That could eas easily be it too. Alright, Wario, sweet. We got a spaceship, a bomb thing, a sword. Welcome to the battlefield. This is so sweet, this in Mario 64. And this song too, it's pretty iconic. I know Wavy WebSurf uses this song in his videos. Uh, hey, who are you? This is our turf, get out of here. This song's so iconic. <laughs> Of course, they utilize cannons, that's smart. Sorry we don't serve your kind here, we only speak to allies. Okay, 
so we might be able to get the wing cap on this stage. Hopefully get all these blues here. Missed that one, but alright. We'll get 100 coins here really quick because we already have 50, 55, 56. Okay, so that's where the minigame type is, so keep that in mind. There's 100 coins. That one is almost too easy. <laughs> or 80 coins, I should say. The 80 coin star. So we unlocked uh, the next area of this hack now also. Oh, so we have the metal cap switch. Maybe in this level too. Maybe this is the cap. Maybe all the switches will be in here. Why did I jump against the wind? Well, it's not totally pointless, because we got 100 coin stars, so... Okay, I gotta go on these helicopter plates here. These are kind of like the TikTok clock things. So it's frustrating, but I gotta get this coin or token. Alright, hopefully this guy will open the cannon. Wow, I can't believe you made it all the way up here. That takes guts. You're clearly good eye. Here, take this star. Wait, what? Oh, this star. Okay, cool. So maybe now the cannon will be unlocked on Star 2, kind of like in B bomb Battlefield how it is. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, what's the star called? Yeah, I think I should probably just come back to the stage when I have a wing cap. It'll make everything so much easier. I feel like I really should have wing cap by this stage, but I'm missing something. I feel like this eye might contain a star. Oh no, come on, just follow me. Okay, sweet. Alright, we're gonna head back to Warriors once we get the uh, wing cap. Speaking of wing cap, I'm gonna go to the overworld here and just explore it a little bit more because I have a feeling that it's gonna be there. Or, wait, maybe we have to buy it from a shop that'll be coming up after we go to this gate? Sweet, got the next key, the next area is unlocked. So this should contain DJ or DK's Jungle Parkway, the Bowser level. Oh wait, this is the one player mode? This is very, very cool. Legends say that with the power of 30 stars, the fountain will become filled. Alright, so 30 stars is what we need. So we got Bowser, Magnum Mountain there, which I don't want to go to yet, I want to save that for last. Total tokens. 
2 out of 2, 2 out of 2, 1 out of 2, and 1 out of 2. Okay, so it shows the tokens per world, which is cool, so... I'll know what I'm looking for. Here, let's check out the game shop here. Um... Um, same game. This is a cool game that was never actually released. Wait, so we bought Vanish Cap. Same game. So it's kind of like the game Collapse if you've ever played it. Wow, this is actually programmed really good. Okay. I can't believe how well he programmed this, like... Okay, no, we can't hit that blue one yet. Okay, we can get rid of the reds. Alright, green. Now blue and we're good. Heck yeah. That is so cool, like... I can't believe how well he programmed that, like, honestly. Okay. This game, the Limbo game. Well, it looks like we're gonna get a Banish Cap from it, too. Sweet. Got Vanish Cap. Oh, we gotta get the reds in here. Let's see what this toad has to say. When you're wearing the Vanish Cap, you can phase right through the grates like this one. You should keep that in mind, it might be useful in the future. Oh, this is the Moo game over here, too. You have to just pick out which boo's fake. That's very cool. Okay, we only need seven reds, which is nice, so... Let's just climb that pole again, and... We should have the star in no time. Looks like they really extended the Vanish Cap timer too, like you have it for a long time. That'd be cool if they did that with the Wing Cap and the uh, Metal Timer too. Maybe not Metal Timer, because uh, being metal is always a good thing. Oh, this mini game here, the pump one. That is very cool. Here's the last red, just so we can say we got them all. It is very cool that they changed it to uh, seven red coins, so. Alright, sick. There's a star. I wonder, I think that's it for this. Like, it's giving me the option to continue, so it's always making me think that there's a second star in here, but I'll backtrack a little bit. Wait. No. Wait, maybe... There might be... S this looks like a big boo, which might give us a star. Okay, yeah, so I think those are the two stars of this level. I think this is the room from Running of the Ball. Where's DK Jungle... Oh, I think that's... There it is, right there. Yeah, totally missed that door, which would make sense that you get the wing cap later. Because then, yeah, getting five stars would be a lot easier with two courses. So yeah, this is course, yeah, course two, so I'm keeping around. Okay, this is actually a very good recreation of this. 
This is another song Wavy Webster uses all the time, too. I guess we can go for uh, hundreds here first. It's pretty cool seeing this as a custom map. It is pretty flat though, but that's just the way the map's laid out. I'm just knowing that the person had to like, or Mr. Com had to model these from scratch is honestly it's so impressive. Right, 80 coins star. You'd think it'd be in this area also. Okay, here it is. That secret. Wait, monkeying around. Oh, we got like Indiana Jones style cave here. I guess this is where the boulders originate from. Kind of reminds me of uh, that MXC minigame. If you guys know what I'm talking about, where they gotta avoid the boulders. And they have those little, like, tucks in the wall. Another star. Okay, we got the mini game over here. Oh, this game. Welcome to Coin Block Blitz. The rules are simple you hit a block, you get a prize. But don't get greedy. If you hit a box that's too big, you'll get hurt. Alright, let's see. Oh, I see. Oh. So, I gotta... Balance out the coins and the blocks. Oh, no, okay, sweet, I'm good. That was super, super close, I just lucked out. Another very cool minigame. Okay, see, see what this monkey says? I wonder what's in that box over there. I bet if a big explosion went off near it, it would open. And we could see what was inside. Okay, so I'm assuming they're talking about this box. Ow, oh, please let me go, please. How about this? If you let me go, I'll give you something really good. Alright, sweet. That's a pretty simple star, too. Banana run. Okay, that's not how we get out. Uh, oh, here we get up over here. Oh, yeah, this must be the banana run. And in the treasure box. So we gotta get up top of there. 
this is the way. Um, this is, yeah, 100% the way. Oh, oh, well, at least I got that thing. Alright, cool, that opened the box, and we're good for the banana. Wait, I wonder if, uh, each shop has different games that they sell. Because there's three different shops, if you think about it. Here, let's... Because this shop might be the one that sells the wing cap. Yeah, wing cap, there we go. We'll go wing cap and bobsled run. Alright. There we go, <laughs> finally got wing cap. Okay, wow, I just made that. Not even close, maybe. Wait, if I miss one, maybe I'll be okay. Oh, and there's a teleporter here, perfect. Alright, nice. Wait, I bet you Wingcap has one more star. Or maybe even more. Wait, sweet. Another star. Okay, I think that's it for Wing Cap. I might have to come back for another one. Wait, no, it's not kicking me out yet, so... Probably gotta beat a time. Get to the bottom of the slide in under 55 seconds to get a star. Alright. A nice cool slide, this will be fun. Slide levels have always been my favorite. Especially going down like the bobsled slide from Mario Party, this is very cool. Do these speed up pad work? Oh, they do. <laughs> that is awesome, the fact that he programmed that. Oh wow, that's, that's a lot of speed. wonder how tight this is going to be. I think, I think I'll be able to get it. Uh, oh. Forty-eight, forty-nine, uh, fifty, fifty-one. Okay, so we still get a star for beating it, but we'll get another star for beating it under fifty. Thirty-four, thirty-five is when I want to hit that pad. I have to really ride these out. Okay, yeah, that should be good. Okay, just barely. 49.8, a second star should spawn. Wait, what? Oh, under 55 seconds, okay. I thought it was 50. So we just gotta beat this game again, but with a better time. We need to do it in less than 19 seconds, so I'm thinking... Alright, let's do this. Alright, waste a little bit of time, but... Come on, three, two, one! Okay, perfect. That is probably just, like, just under the time limit. Okay, nice. 
I'm gonna go back to the first level Rainbow Ride because now that we have Wing Cap, we can get that other star there. All right, rings in the sky. I think these two stars should be pretty easy to get, like... Alright, I hate doing a triple jump on like a... Alright, there we go. Let's... Uh, oh, I got way too much speed. Try this again. I might have to do these in order. Okay. This is the speed that I need, yeah, just nice and slow. Okay, cool. Very, that's like perfect star placement too. So then you can just do this. The restored castle. Yeah, the castle is restored. The rainbow's back. Oh. We have those stupid uh, wind gusts, guys. Check out the item or the minigame shop here. Because I think uh, the minigame shop should have the uh, metal cap switch here and another cool minigame. I only have three coins left, so I'll buy metal cap. I guess I can buy tug of war too. All my tokens though. Okay, this kind of reminds me of a uh, bomb skip ball. If you step on the metal cap switch, the metal cap makes Mario invincible. Now, metal cap will pop out of the green box if I it's like to say, sure. Okay, this is a huge area. This is bigger than most of the maps on the game. Oh, this is the Bombskaball place. I think that's what this is supposed to be. How people would speed around this game, that'd be pretty interesting to watch. Like, this is definitely a good enough hack. I'm sure people will start speedrunning. There's two more. And there should be another one hidden throughout this stage, too. Okay, cool. And maybe that is the only star. See if it kicks us out. would a star be? I'll keep this in mind that there could be another one here, but like, I really just don't know where it would be. Like, I'm pretty sure I explored this whole area pretty thoroughly. Now, yeah, exit course? Okay, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, let's play Tug of War. Okay. 
Okay, oh. oh. Okay, I see, so... I was literally using one hand there because I thought it was just simple as, uh... So we gotta stay on the rope. Go Bowser's side first and see what's over here. Can't. Yes, we gotta go DK side. Okay. I see. That was a pretty neat star too. Another really cool concept. Okay, so this should be... What game is this? Hot rope jump, maybe? Yeah. Okay, this time we gotta get 40. Sweet, got another one. Okay, first try. Oh wait, yeah, so now we're in this area. So we can either go in here, which, let's go to Bowser Magna Mountain first, last stage. I wonder if this one's gonna be like a huge difficulty spike. Gale the Spire. I think I'm gonna go for 100 coins here. Cool rendition of this theme, once again. Oh, okay, so... To get around there. Uh, let's risk it. Wow, so way over there, there looks like there's a star. Oh wait, good thing I can grab onto that ledge. Usually when they're uh, a little bit uh, slanted, you can't. Alright, I already got the red coin star, which is good. Just 30 more coins. Let's see what this guy does. Oh, you can talk to him. The rock to the south over there is really close to the lava currently. I bet even just standing on it would make it get sucked in. Okay. Let me see what this guy has to say here also. Take the bridges if you want to get around a little quicker. Oh no, uh, it's not good. Okay, here's some coins. Heck yeah. Alright, the reds and the 100 coins out of the way already. Okay, scale the spire. Let's see what this big guy has to say. Okay, he cannot go in his mouth. <laughs> Note taken.
Alright, just what I need. Hey, that star wasn't too bad at all. Here we go. Bullying the bullies. This seems like a star switch. Or no, okay, no, it's just another coin. Another star. One bully. Two bully. I think this should be the third. Switched out. All right. Oh heck yeah, just those three. Here we go. And fiery volcano fight. We don't know where this fight's gonna take place. Maybe we gotta ground pound these guys. If they shoot fire. No, you can't get on top. Oh wait, no, I think I know what to do. I think I just gotta throw bombs in his mouth. That would make sense, like, they're gonna respawn though, so I'll just wait for this middle guy to respawn. Yeah, still hasn't responded, okay. Might have to, might have to use these bombs. Nope, oh, I did not mean to do that. Alright, well, I got a strat, though. I know what to do, at least. As long as you gain knowledge on every life, you're good. Yeah, just like that. Third one. Cool. One more. Alright, and mini game skateboard scamper. Okay, yeah, so I didn't quite get this my first try last time. I know where it is at least. jump into this area here. Oh, this is going to be Bowser's Eternal Star. I totally forgot about that level, or that board. Alright, touring the cosmos. Oh, we got Mips here. This star we are standing on used to be the whole and beautiful, but Bowser came and broke it into pieces.
Eternal Star is a pretty cool map, but it's one of those maps that, like, like, if you have friends over, I don't feel like you ever really play Eternal Star, you know? That's on the last map that you choose. Actually, I'll see what this grab has to say. There are teleporters placed all, all over the star so you can get around quicker. They aren't working right now, though. Maybe some star power can fix them. Okay. Let's check out this area. I'm pretty sure there must be a star over there, and I'm going for 100, so I'll leave that for now. Okay, that was way too close for comfort there. Great, we got hundreds, we good. Alright, let's try this. This should be a strike. That's a very cool concept for a star. That was very neat. Bring the cost. There we go, just so close. Okay, nice. Oh. Oh, that was the star one. Touring the cosmos. Oh, wow, that wasn't star one. It must have to do with these, uh, older things here. Okay, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see where the star piece is. Alright, 
no. Uh. Where's the fifth? Oh. Okay, sweet. First try. Star pieces of the asteroid belt, still not star one. Alright, get these wall jumps right. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Okay, heck yeah. Alright, sweet. Now that should be star one. Yeah. Now it's Koopa Kid Scurry. Oh wow, yeah, there's all these Koopa Kids. Hey, wanna play a game? I'll run around and you can try to catch me. But it won't be easy, my friends will also be running around. You'll have to keep track of which one I am. You get three tries, so wanna give it to go? If you succeed, you might get something special. Okay. That in. Okay, sweet. Here we go. Right, mini game memory match. Okay, so now uh, the teleporter should work. I'm thinking it'll take me right to the memory match game. says in this mini game when you ground pound the panels a picture will appear remember where the pictures appear and try to match them up right memory match see that was pretty easy I got kind of lucky though I had a pretty good layout Before we go and face Bowser, I'm gonna go back to Wario Battle Canyon. Right now that we've got Wing Cap, this level should be like a million times easier. Okay, so let's go through the rings. Okay, let's launch high, get rid of some speed, and then just pick five to go come to on the way down. head in the middle there. That was a pretty pretty cool star. Metal Mario in the Windy War Zone. Oh. So yeah, we're supposed to use metal to get that one, I guess, which makes sense. Can we just use Wing Cap though really easily to get it?
Okay, yeah, we can easily use Wing Cap. We don't really need metal, but... And fight inside the mountain. Fight inside the mountain. Oh. If I take this pipe, the bomb probably like this takes you inside the mountain. Mario, the war is over. We have a bigger threat on our hands now. King Babom has found inside of this very mountain. You're going to need the Babom's help to take him down. You can do this, Mario. We all believe you. Oh wow, a gold Babom? Huh? I see you managed to find me. Well, it's no use. My plans are already way too far along for someone like you to be able to do anything. Go ahead, take your best shot. I'm not scared. Ha. You think you and your puny arms could ever hurt me? You'll have to try a lot harder than that. I have to use the bombs to explode them. Well, how did I not take damage there? Wait, I think I'm soft locked. I just soft locked <laughs> Mario Party 64. Yeah, it's definitely soft lock too. Have to reset. Alright, um try this again, hopefully I don't get soft lock. Oh wait, what? Speed's definitely up. I... I can't believe it. All my plans, all my preparations, destroyed by a wimp like you. I feel weak. Alright, this last star should be a uh, minigame star. Yeah, we got minigame handcar havoc. Alright, let's see. So, seems pretty simple so far. Very cool that he made this course, though, like, this moving object. Okay, I thought I was gonna fall right into the lava there for a second. Alright, cool. This is a cool star. Sweet minigame island here. Oh, this theme's so cool. Sounds so cool in the Mario 64 sound aesthetic. I don't know if this is gonna be water or like a death pit, so. I'm thinking if I pound every pillar, I'll get a star. Okay, no, that's just for aesthetics. This is a mini game, pound the pillars, or whatever it's called. Such a good theme, this song.
This might be a stupid idea. Ugh. No, I'm gonna backtrack for that red. I know I probably shouldn't, but I wanna see what's up in this area here anyways. Such a faithful recreation of uh, the minigame island map though. Shy guy says mini games here. Okay, so it is water. Okay, cool. That had me really concerned. I mean, it looks like water, but I uh, guess you never really know. Bowser thing, so I won't go in there quite yet. Oh, got the red coin star up here. That building doesn't do anything. Alright, we need the invisible switch. Actually, no, I won't. I can just wall jump up here. That opens up that door. What am I doing? I'm on a time limit here, I think. Maybe it's not a time limit. Right. Nice easy star. That just takes us there. Alright, well, we're missing nine stars, and I have no idea where they'd be. Okay, well, where are the last nine stars? Yeah, because 12 bonus stars. Okay, we're missing a course. We're missing a whole course, that's why. And yeah, that will get us seven stars. And that final thing will give us the other two. So yeah, we're missing an entire course. Which one? Uh, Luigi's Engine Room, of course. We haven't been there yet. All right, yeah, so. Oh, this is it. Oh, okay. I honestly thought this was the Bowser picture because it looks so similar, but... Alright, so of course six. Luigi's engine room. The loose screws. Oh, wow, this actually changes the level like that. It's very cool. That's what this boo says. Hitting these switches makes the walls go up and down. Try it out. See where this pipe takes us? 
I'll take it to the other side here. Let's see what this boo has to say. Welcome, Mario. Things used to be pretty peaceful here, but ever since the engine broke down, some of the other boos have been acting up. We don't know what you could do about that, seeing as you're not an electrician. Okay, I'll need the, uh, whatchamacallit, switch to get there. We're really close to the 80 coins here. <laughs> Oh no. Not another soft lock. Oh, so close. I know not a soft lock at least. Well, <laughs> still sucks they had so many coins, but. Oh wait, nice. Here's the other secret coin, or secret token. Alright, it's pretty close. This level honestly doesn't look too bad. Up in the scaffolding. Alright, sweet, so five more stars. Alright, cool. Alright, so I gotta get all the booze. Okay, looks like... I feel like I gotta, like, take them to the light. That just would make sense. Yeah. Oh, they're all different colors, that's pretty cool. The blue boo. Lubu. Wait, 
Wait, what? Is that boon like not following me now? Oh, there we go. Way over here. Wait, sweet. That was a really cool start, too. Fixing the engine. Okay, so I think the engine room will be open now, maybe? Oh wait, I think uh, it has to do with ground pounding these. Hello, and I heard there was a problem with the engine, so I was called in to check it out. I get lost easily though, could you help me out of harm's way while I look for the engine? Yes. Ah, uh, it looks like a worn out spark plug. That should be a pretty easy fix. Bzz Zerp. Engine fixing noises. There we go, it should be good as new. No need to thank me, it's what I do. What is going on? Oh. Alright, cool. This is the, uh... When the game ends, you go on this ship, so... That's definitely a very cool callback. Yeah. Mini game whack a plant. Oh, whack a plant, this will be a fun one. Get them all. It's actually a very close recreation of this game here. Please be one more round. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Alright, sweet. Alright, last star is going to be in the minigame house. Oh, Yoshi, PBC. I got every single point except for one in PBC. Peach's birthday cake. Okay, we'll head back to Peach's birthday cake at that last coin. Maybe somewhere in here? Oh yeah! That's exactly where it is, alright. Wait, that wall, maybe it can be broken. That wall looks so funny. Okay, yeah, there's the last star. Heck yeah. There we go. That's all 70 stars, and that's all the tokens too. So the game is 100%ed. <coughs> I'm gonna go and beat Bowser again. Mainly just because uh, there might be a special ending if you have all all the stars, so I don't know if there is this might be pointless, but uh, Only one way to find out Ooh. 
Mario, I'm surprised you've made it this far. Well, that's just fine. I've been looking for something to fry with my fire breath. What do you say we play a little game? I'll send you one of my mini. And if you can make it out alive, you have to try to throw me into the bombs. That's right behind me. Oh wait, oh what? So we have to mini games to beat Bowser? Alright, sweet. <laughs> About as easy as it can get. Okay, one last throw. Please, yes. Heck yeah. Wait, no, it can't be. You really beat me, Mario, with all 70 power stars, too. Alright, my power is fading away, I can't stand it. You may have won this time, but next time I'll bring some much harder minigames. Wahaha. <laughs> okay, so the dialogue did change when we had 70 stars, so I'm glad we came back. We are the superstar, a new pipe has appeared in the village. Okay, perfect. I'm so glad I played this Bowser again. So let's see what this where this new pipe leads to. Well, just, I think this is the new pipe. Hot rope jump endless. Oh. So if we're being the game we get this. I got 64. <laughs> like, I'll keep sticking up. Alright, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Obviously, insane shoutouts to Mr. Comet for making this ROM hack. Like, I'm honestly so amazed by this. This might be one of my new favorite Super Mario 64 ROM hacks of all time. Um, thank you to the channel members of this channel, and thank you guys all for checking out this video. If you could leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day.